I am a huge fan of distributed computing and I am also conscious of the fact that all of this expensiveness and lack of availability around GPUs has made it really hard for the people to test out all of these cool LLMs and that is where I think distributed computing in terms of using GPU compute is the need of our. That is why this new project we can see on your screen cake really really makes sense to me. This cake project is a rust based distributed LLM inference for mobile, desktop and server. In very simple words what is happening is this is allowing you to pool your resources together with the help of other people if you want and then build a sort of peer to peer network where you will pool your resources and then you can do the inference with large 70 billion or even more uh, models easily. Even I cannot show you the full 70 billion or even larger models. I have never done a full model install on my channel just because I don't have simply the GPU. I have GPUs of 48 GB VRAM. Sometimes I get my hands on A100 with 80 GB of VRAM, but even then I cannot play around with full 70 billion on larger models because simply I don't have access to those GPUs. Plus they are very, very expensive and I am no uh, millionaire or Elon Musk to do that sort of stuff. So that is why I think that project like these are a real lifesaver and they can allow mere models like us to do distributed LLM inference. Now, if you look at this project, this is actually quite interesting. They have support for Linux, Windows, Mac, iOS, web, Android, you just name it and they have the support. Now, Cake is an experimental Rust framework designed to enable the distributed inference of massive, massive models such as Llama 3, 8 billion, on a heterogeneous cluster of devices. This project aims to make AI more accessible and democratic by repurposing consumer hardware, including iOS, Android, Mac OS, Linux, and Windows devices. So you can run large models like 70 billion plus on it. So because Cake enables a deployment of massive models that typically require significant computational resources, making them more accessible to a broader audience, but make sure that you have CUDA more than 12.2 um, installed for the accelerated system wherever your GPUs are installed, whether it's your laptop, workstation or wherever. Also, by utilizing consumer hardware, Cake reduces electronic waste and extends the lifespan of devices that would otherwise be discarded, so it is quite green too. And then Cake distributes a workload across multiple devices, allowing for faster inference times and increased scalability. Coming to the technical details, Cake splits transformer blocks into smaller shards, which are then distributed across multiple devices. This approach enables the processing of larger models that wouldn't normally fit in a single device GPU memory. And that is what I love about it. I, I wish I would have access to a broader network of GPU uh, smaller GPUs and then I would download the cluster and show you because installation is quite easy. So if you have it, let me show you how you git clone this repo. Then according to your hardware, if you are just using CPU, simply build this. If you have metal, build this with CUDA, build this. So for iOS, you can just simply make it. Now in order to run it, you can simply use this command on every node of your network. So you do KXCLI, you specify path to your model and then from there you can say okay this is your uh, mode is worker node and then this is a node worker node's name and then you can specify your topology of the whole network and this is the address on this port that's it. And this topology basically determines which layers are served by which worker and you can um, find all the list of the layers in the model in its tensor index file which you can also check it out here they have also shared a sample one don't consider it to be uh, very very in-depth but you can play around with it so this is where the index.json file and these are all the layers and you can mention it in the topology and depending upon the model you have to shard it accordingly i wish this would also be uh, automated that would be awesome but it gives you a bit of a flexibility and this is the file which I was referring to. So these are the all the nodes in your network. 
for example this is the server one server two this is your iphone this is your ipad and this is your macbook and then for the inference you can simply use any restful api such as they are using this one where they are defining the system role and user role so all in all a really really good project and i wish that i would have the access to the network to run it but uh, very very early days and already a lot of people are contributing to it so i'm quite hopeful about this project that's it guys i just wanted to introduce you i was quite excited about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thanks for watching